It may be legal, but it is still a drug. Be safe, be sensible, know your limit. Alcohol is a drug too. Think before you drink. Your body belongs to you. The purpose of this presentation is to help you understand the impact that alcohol has on your brain and the damage it can do. Our goal is to provide you with information which will enable you to make informed choices in relation to safe alcohol consumption. Did you know? Healthy people metabolise alcohol at a fairly consistent rate. As a rule of thumb, a person will eliminate one standard drink or 10 mils of alcohol per hour. And remember, it's not how many drinks you have, but how much alcohol you consume. Several factors influence this rate, including gender, age, height, weight, general health, the presence of food in the stomach, the concentration of alcohol in the drink, and prescription or illicit drugs taken by the person. It's the blood alcohol concentration, or BAC, which is the key to why we are affected by alcohol. Basically, your blood alcohol concentration is the relationship between the total amount of alcohol in your system divided by total body water, because alcohol is dissolved and diluted in water. So that's also why drinking lots of water with any alcohol consumption is a really good thing. The BAC and the effects of alcohol go up when the body is taking in alcohol faster than it can metabolise it. For example, if you binge drink and consume a 750ml bottle of rum or three bottles of wine, that's around 26 standard drinks, between 6pm and 2am, your body will need until sometime around 6pm the next day to process and get rid of the alcohol. And that's why driving or operating equipment the next day is not only illegal, but just crazy. Particularly when you consider what this is doing to your brain. Let me explain. Alcohol enters the body and ends up in the stomach, at which point about 20% is absorbed immediately, and the other 80% is absorbed in the small intestine. The heart then pumps the absorbed alcohol to every part of the body, including the central nervous system, which consists of the brain and spinal cord, and it gets to the brain really fast. So that's why even after just one drink, you can feel lightheaded or relaxed. Alcohol acts primarily on the nerve cells within the brain and interferes with communication between nerve cells and all other cells, slowing everything down. And that's why when we drink even a little, we experience the effects of alcohol on our emotions, judgement, balance, memory, speech and anger levels, just to name a few. Did you know that your brain is still developing until you're around 20 to 25? So we need to be really careful because alcohol can do some irreversible damage to various parts of our brains. For example, drinking affects the cerebral cortex, which controls our senses and inhibitory centers, which is why when you drink, you become more talkative, more self-confident and less socially inhibited. It also controls our thought processes, so alcohol affects our ability to make good judgement or think clearly. The brain's frontal lobes are important for planning, forming ideas, making decisions and using self-control. So when alcohol affects the frontal lobes of the brain, you may find it hard to control emotions and urges, and you may act without thinking, and even sometimes become violent or act completely out of character. Does this sound familiar? The cerebellum is important for coordination, thinking and being aware. So again, you may have trouble with these skills when alcohol affects the cerebellum. That's why people affected by alcohol sometimes can't walk properly or lose their balance and fall. The hippocampus is the part of the brain where memories are made. So when alcohol reaches the hippocampus, you may have trouble remembering something you just heard, or even worse, have a blackout and not be able to remember what you did last night. If alcohol damages the hippocampus, you may find it hard to learn or remember things in the future. The hypothalamus is a small part of the brain that does an amazing number of the body's housekeeping chores. After a person drinks alcohol, blood pressure, hunger, thirst and the urge to urinate increases, while body temperature and heart rate decreases. And finally, the medulla controls the body's automatic actions, such as your heartbeat. It also keeps the body at the right temperature. 
Because alcohol chills the body, drinking a lot of alcohol outdoors in cold weather can cause a person's body temperature to fall below normal. This dangerous condition is called hypothermia. Your body belongs to you. Get the facts. Alcohol is unsafe for the developing brain. Alcohol can damage your brain forever. The long-term functioning and health of your brain depends on the choices you make today. Your responsible attitude toward alcohol can have a positive influence on your friends and family. Your body belongs to you. Take care of it. It's the only one you have. Thanks to the following, Drinkwise Australia for their generosity in granting funding for a major portion of this production. Australian Lions Drug Awareness Foundation for their input and support throughout the production of this presentation. 3D Me, a look inside for their in-kind contribution to a portion of the script research, development, creative processes and production of this presentation. For more information, or to download the Australian Alcohol Guidelines, please visit www.alcohol.gov.au.